If you are in the crypto market right now, in this October 2022, there's uh, something you really don't want to miss. This actually shows you there is an increasing possibility now you got rejected again this time unless you bounce from the support of 18500 and break through this trend line chances are high that you may drop back below the support now this has been a long term support and the last all time highs so this is a macro long term support but if you break that you are in for some pain and then you look at different perspectives coming out into the market and especially the one from Raul actually gives you some kind of narrative like okay October is going to be bad and this is October and he actually gives you a lot of different perspectives throughout that and we will look through that and break it down but at the same time look at what the institutions are kind of showing you crypto ecosystem is now less decentralized. Now, I'm not saying that in a negative way for them. I'm saying they think it can be a little bit centralized and for them, that's interesting. Now, we talked about Bitcoin, but this is Ether, which actually shows you, okay, we are at a support and the RSI here, it actually suggests to you that it can break higher or it is at a resistance. Even a little bit of move to the upside, you break higher, Ether and altcoins move up. Now, why do I say that? Because you see a lot of altcoins moving higher, hitting your targets like the measured move. That's a reality, right? This is like Reef, which we dropped some days back. You already hit that range. So the price did break out. It did move higher. Then we bought a little earlier in Quan and say around 46 and we took the profits from that and then we added on to that position here around 130 now why we did that that was another range of breakout right now you hit this level of first range so the price is continuing on a lot of different assets inside this market you are going to see a ton of opportunity some of them are going to burst but you need to be cautious why we are going through that This is a scientific investor family where the normal common retail guys learn how to become the next top 10 percentage of the world. Here in the crypto market, you see a lot of price action. So especially when you look at the ones which are moving higher and then look at the other spectrum, the ones which are dropping, you see some with fundamentals here dropping, some without fundamentals going back up. So you will be confused. And that's what the market is doing right now. You look at different assets and as you move through this, you are right now observing a lot of coins taking off. Some of them doing 100, 200, 300 percentage moves in the last short term and then people taking profits. So you see the volume going nuts in some of these small projects and the market is pushing to that side of it. So you really have to keep an eye on the market unless you are not looking at the market for next one year because this month is going to be really interesting and crucial. And if you are literally looking for opportunities in the market, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. Now, we are going to break these down where we really need some clarity. Because as you look at this and say like, okay, that is something really negative for this particular month. But if you win, if you really take that time and go through this and ask like, okay, when can I expect a bounce back? That's when the positive scenario actually comes in. Like that's what we all really want to know. So now we go look at the Bitcoin and we just talked about that. Look at the RSI. It's at this support range. So the possibility of it breaking lower is higher because you are flirting with that level too much. Same scenario here in the ether, you are flirting with the resistance. So chances of it breaking higher is what we are looking at. So a bounce will be good for the altcoins. Now, why is that? At the time when you actually see a lot of coins move 10, 15, 20 percentage a day and some go really higher than that, you're getting an average of 10 
7 15 percentage each day in last couple of weeks for these small cap coins and medium cap coins now micro caps some of them they are actually bursting through so it's really hard to even pick but this is the market we are in now at a time when we talk about this say for example we moved out of something to move into something right so the decision was made on the basis of what say here we moved out of atom to go into quan at that time now look at atom what is it doing in this short term it is trending lower it is coming back lower now things are changing but when we took the decision it was the best option in my opinion this is the market where you look at different assets and ask like okay if i entered here what should i do take your profits understand those who entered early when they are 5x 10x they are taking profits believe me they are taking profits so if you bought in here at the bottom now the bottom was 43 and say for example our buy in the initial one they for this range of trade was like 46 so for us we did do that so now if you entered at 90 if you entered at 130 you don't get that leverage like those who entered at 46 so you need to keep in mind if they are looking for 5x you are looking for maybe 3x maybe 2x but that still is a decent profit if you take it so you need to keep that in mind now bring all of this into xrp say bitcoin is gonna drop ether can bounce all coins are running crazy what is xrp doing right now for me this has been a range for xrp as an asset where investors traders everyone react strongly so when you were below this it was a strong resistance when you were above this this was a super strong support when you are below again resistance so now when you're above this and you're coming from the top we got a bounce so that acted as a support but on the short term scenario you are at this resistance where the rsi already broke higher so the odds are leaning towards a break out there so if ether is bouncing back towards 1600 1500 you will see all coins moving and xrp for that matter if it breaks higher you're going to observe one dollar xrp you're going to target 0 0.9 to one dollar now this range is a huge supply demand zone for xrp so if it gets rejected here why that is important because if the scenario is explained here is going to come into the picture then you definitely need to know where your support is right so for xrp if you are getting rejected here then your support range is this one again that's a great news if you are in xrp because at this point if bitcoin is breaking this one that is not really something great you are looking at it's not the 18 or 17k which you are looking at if you break this range you are looking for 15000 and if that breaks hmm, now you are literally looking for like 3000 4000 range but really think in a way like institutions are buying at 30000 20000 19000 they are averaging down so do you really think when it drops they won't buy chances are higher they will buy one of the reason here is this is not a perfect competition layer this is not the market where you have a perfect competition especially when you look at ether and how things are evolving you will definitely say this is not a market where you have a perfect things great right now we all understand that so that actually comes into the play of it's like you have a little bit of monopoly others are substitutes which are similar to what you're offering so in that sense when the price drops here people can move on to the other area where they think the price is moving up or when the price moves up they move on to there because that's the normal human behavior so now when we look at this one we need to actually go in a little bit detail say for example Raul actually put the perspective here like october is the month where stock market crashes first great that's a great understanding before we dig in here we need to first look at what the stock market is doing right now you are breaking through this level of resistance support range you broke that one before but it became a fake out you bounced back but the moving average slowed you down and pushed you back down 
even after you got engulfing candle here, you are getting strong weight to the downside. Now, why is that? Because when you zoom out and ask that question to yourself, like, okay, buy low, sell high scenario, where is the market right now? It is kind of, you know, way, way higher than where you expect it to be. But the strength index is actually showing you a cup and a handle pattern possibility where they can be a capitulation before you start running back up. Now, that, but what he's identifying here or giving you as his thought process, it is kind of resonating well. Now, most people may remember this. Now, I was not even born in 1987, so I wouldn't say that. I came out in 1991. So if you look at the history and learn through this, this actually shows you there was a massive capitulation. And if you put a number to that, say you weigh around 310 and you dropped all the way back down to 210, close to that. Great. So that was like, you know, 100 point down. So 30 percentage to the downside. Now in crypto, we get that 30 percentage every now and then. So that's a different story, right? Then you see this one, which is again, older than that, right? Now, when you overlay this history, which he's talking about here in different sectors, even including 2008 crash, you know, 1974, he puts out everything here to get this idea. You are kind of, now in this one, it was not now, this actually resonates for crypto. That's why I'm highlighting this. In this one, it was not the October which actually did the capitulation. October was the retest. So before that, you already did this down leg where you did, technically speaking, A, B, and C correction. Great. Now, your first wave, you corrected back 99%, maybe 90%. And then you started. That's how the wave one always starts, right? So when he shows, okay, that was it, it was a double bottom. Great. So if you already did this one, I would say like, okay, don't be worried about this because right now when you go back to the Bitcoin, you already did this and right now you're testing this range. So the other chance, if you get a bounce and break this pattern to the upside, okay, then now you come back to this scenario. Great. So that is a little bit of positive light at that end of the tunnel. Then the 1991, which you got like a rounded bottom or a cup and handle pattern where yes, the October was the deadliest month or the final leg down in that capitulation phase. But what you will look here, it's not an ABC pattern like that, which you're observing. You really actually got like one, two, three, four, five. And then the market decides to do another one, two, three, four, five. The change happens here with that downside and that downside is literally 20 percentage on that drop now when the market is dropping like this on the stock market side of this in various different countries dollar is strong you need to understand that and dollar can be going another leg up because when the markets go down like this People tend to move on to safe haven. And for some reason, a lot of people actually think dollar is a safe haven, which I really don't think. But a lot of people do think that. So it does act like one, it goes up during the time of uncertainty. So you see from this 2021, we've been going through a lot of things in the world and it went up. But understand before that, when we actually got this scenario, the 2020, you know, the crash of Corona, it went down, right? So if something bad like that is coming, this is going to go down. If that's already priced in, it is still going to continue higher. What we really want to see here is a little bit of a retest or a slowdown for the dollar coming back down. We don't know whether that's going to happen, but there is a higher probability that it can do that. Fine. Now going back into this one, when they talk about October is always a scary month for the markets, especially when you are in the midst of a recession, which I think we are already in, even though we actually see, you know, leaders of big countries coming out and saying, our economy is strong as hell. And I'm like, okay, if this is the strongest economy you are talking about, I don't know what the real strength actually means in this one. Great. So now you go back and you're looking like, okay, every bear market is different. 
Now ask this question to yourself when you see the largest destruction of wealth in the modern history. This one right now is actually one of that. So if you are here in the market and you say like, okay, if we are here now, imagine if you were here and you bought our cost basis, you pushed your cost basis down, then you went back up. So you made a lot of money when a lot of people lost money. Because that's a decision when you ask yourself like, should I buy? Because the blood is everywhere in the streets. That's a hard decision to make. But look at this. If I'm looking at this as a technical guy and asking this question, say for example, I just uh, copy this one from there and come down here, just make this big, drop it here and zoom in. So as you zoom in through this one, what you can actually notice is that if you draw a line, say a trend line, for me, it looks something like this. So if that is your support, I would actually go in and say like, okay, this kind of makes a lot of sense. Yes, we dropped huge, heavy, and we may retest the bottom and some assets which are already at that bottom may make a new low. Great. So this one actually gives you a highlight of the market in stocks. There's a lot of them which have bounced, which may retest the bottom. There's a lot of others who are still at that support, which may break through the downside. Because here it shows bad thing for those who are old, because the pensions are going to get hit hard. In UK, you already see things happening in the same manner. Now, when he shows you the sentiment, here you need to understand back in 2008 crash, you were even lower. So right now, you still have room to go to the downside if you are going to make generational lows. So if you are in the market right now, the thing you should be noting is yes, things may go wrong if you see a break to the downside here. But the market always does something opposite than the most people think. So if a lot of people around you are talking, we are going down to 10,000, the market may most likely go back up. That's a huge possibility and we, that's, we see that all the time. Now, the crypto market is already down like 90 percentage, most of the coin and say the average 70 percentage. So you don't have too much room to the downside if the coin has a fundamental and it is getting volume on a regular basis. So if you see tens of hundreds of millions of dollars coming into different projects which you believe in, then you don't really have to worry about that because what you are looking at is a lot of volume coming in. Say here, the volume is comparatively down right now, but it's still 800 million what you're talking about. And here in Ether, you see 8 billion. That's like, you know, massive. It's 10x from XRP. But do you really think that's going to hold on in a way the difference? I really don't think so. The fundamental matters. So guys, if you received value, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.